My name is Fernando Garcia and I'm from Mexico. These days I am in the United States, in Aurora, Illinois. I am from Mexico, pastor, 18 years of pastoral in Mexico. The reason why I am here is because of the persecution. The Mexico of drug trafficking, settling accounts and this something terrifying in the city of Guanajuato where I was preaching the word. I had a restoration center for drug addicts and alcoholics. Unfortunately, the reason I am here is because we were threatened with death. That's the reason we're running away. We've left the church. We've left the restoration center and we've come back to our land. And we have already emigrated here in terms of refuge, asylum, by the United States and protection for my family and myself. The reason why they wanted to harm us is obvious because I, as a pastor, and as the director of a rehabilitation center for drug addicted alcoholics, we were taking away their strong people. People who work for them as guards, lookouts, who were distributing drugs, came closer to the gospel. They're coming to join us. They don't want anything to do with drugs. They don't want anything to do with the drug trade. And that's when I have conflict with drug trafficking because I'm stealing important parts or pieces from drug trafficking to Christianity. So I have the conflict with them face to face. The threat comes, the threat comes, the threat comes. They reach the point where they come for me to kill me. I come to this city because in Mexico, a sister went to my church in Mexico. When visiting Mexico, she would come to the church. We made friendship, we made a good friendship, good fellowship. And when I talk about my issue there in Mexico, because I was on vacation there, and I explained to them the problem I have, the threat, the attempted murder and all that. You, eh, she tells me the doors of my home in Aurora, Illinois are open the day you have a problem. You need to immigrate there or you need to live here. My house is open to you and your family. Pastor Alex Merlo, she talked about my case, my need, my problem, what I was going through, what was happening. Once I explained to him that I was going to work an hour's walk away, looking for, for a job to work a few hours. I was often caught in the rain many times. The hardest time was in January, the cold weather, coming here on a bike. I am grateful to the Lutheran organization because it has been a great blessing for my life, for my family. They were going to support me. There were very good programs, like the help of a car, the help of some furniture, assistance with perhaps clothes, cold stuff, whatever you need, food. The surprise was there. God pulled the strings and arranged things so that the Lutheran organization would support me. To the extent that in a short time I caught a car for which I am very grateful because it has helped me a lot. I had nothing. I am infinitely grateful for what you have done for us. My family is happy. We feel it when it's cold that we are in a car. I tell them to thank God, raise their hands to the sky. Because we have a car by the grace of God, there are no coincidences in God. In God, there are realities and there are miracles. Miracles exist, and even to this day, it's a miracle what I'm experiencing. It's a miracle what I've really lived. I mean, I've seen the hand of God, me as a minister, as experience I've had in the gospel. I've seen that God keeps doing wonders and has used to the brothers present here, to Pastor Melo and the Luther organization.